So guys, welcome back to the channel. So after completing my CCTV A board, I just looked into the another direction and decided that I could do a better one with a voice control board that could take actions based on my voice commands. So I started researching based on the idea and these are the few outcomes or the few applications and tools that I found and the processes that are involved. Uh, so we can continue and build the application for a voice agent. Mind you, uh, this could not be, this need not be a complete uh, a robot that could react to each and everything that we said, but even a voice command agent that could perform the action based on our commands. So if you are new to this channel, uh, I am Christy Vargis. I share my perspectives on technology uh, projects and uh, like ideas that I learned and I share them, my experiences uh, as well. So if you are into technology, as well as into AA and robotics, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Here I found two tools that could do what I require. One is Wask, other one is Whisper. Uh, both of them could recognize voice and take action on both of the, uh, in their own ways. And before we move on to Wask versus uh, Whisper, Let's check out which, what is the proper popular pipeline for uh, speech recognition. So it all starts with the audio input and as uh, it's, we can compare it parallel with image processing as well. We need an input here. We have an audio input. Uh, we do pre-processing just like how we normalize an image and all. We do some uh, pre-processing stage here. Uh, then we have feature extraction that's uh, comparable with the model. Uh, then we have the model inference, there is the text output, the required output from the particular model. So this is the common pipeline that we see in every speech related application uh, here. Then uh, we have the first stage, that is the step one, that is audio input. Like uh, you can use a microphone to capture your row of sound waves. These are sampled and that uh, are passed into the next stage, that is like pre-processing. Uh, for example, here for example, we will be using a really mono uh, 16 kilohertz uh, mono for low power device because uh, we are using a Raspberry Pi and mostly it only requires a small powered microphone as well. In the pre-processing stage is where we remove the uh, background noises. So as you can know, like the what, what the noises we uses, it requires lots of, uh, it has lots of noises, especially the sounds of water, drops, uh, air. So these noises need to be filtered and that's where we have to clean the audio up and normalizing the volume to make sure that there are no huge spikes or anything and the unwanted filter fre frequencies like these are the two factor, few factors that we use to remove the noises from our uh, audio. Then we have feature extraction. Uh, audio waves are not what uh, models are really comfortable in identifying. So mostly either inside the API or inside the, before, the, uh, before the sound reaches the model, we convert them into a format that is understandable to the model. So for that, uh, the waveform could be spatially converted into an image. And for that, we usually use spectrogram. Spectrogram could be in multiple format. One could be a multi-spectrum or even a spectrogram, MFCCs, etc. Uh, if you want more details regarding those, just ping me. Uh, I could put another video on spectrogram, multi-spectrum as well. And you can say that while convert by converting this audio fields, or audio waveforms into uh, these spectrums, the model could easily detect the patterns and make the uh, can, uh, could understand what we are trying to convey rather than uh, inferring it from a voice itself. Then we have the model inference. Uh, this is where the model try to understand what is being said and predicts the phenoms uh, based on the uh, it converts the phenoms like k uh, to words and uses uh, mostly nowadays we use uh, trained AI or ML models. Uh, it could be a really small model 
or really large model uh, somewhat similar to comparing a machine learning model with an LLM. Uh, there are like really more small models like WOSC as well as there are like really good models from OpenAI itself like Whisper which uses a large transformer architecture. So the two competitors, uh, yeah, then the final output of course, we have uh, raw tra transcription or, or punctuated output because uh, that could totally depend on the model that we use. Well, uh, a small model will only give you a text, uh, but the uh, larger models could give you a punctuation for, to, for the, it, it totally be, uh, depends on the voices uh, properties like how high frequency the slang based on that the punctuation and formatting comes in. Uh, so this particular output could be is a text and this can be processed using another LLM to take actions. So that's how usually a voice command agent works or you can identify the intent of that person using that output. So that's how usually uh, the voice command agent works. So in my research the players I have found for my particular application is WOSC and Whisper. So WOSC like I have been saying throughout the video. Uh, it's lightweight of uh, usually uh, you can work it offline uh, it run it can easily run in raspberry pi and it it is really good for short commands like i can just give out say command, turn on the lights it could pick it up and uh, do the action then there is whisper it's like really good model it can be compared to uh, gpt in vo uh, speech to text uh, it is really good for great and noisy and long speech it uh, could be working as an API or we can uh, launch it locally using Whisper CPP. <coughs> so this is the differences that you can see. Uh, in the output stage, uh, the Whisper uh, WOSC returns a raw text but, uh, via uh, Whisper produces a punctuated text, really intended word. Uh, so like I said, WOSC is an small model but uh, whisper is a transformer uh, then the huge difference comes in the feature extraction point uh, where wasp uses mfcc and uh, whisper uses n mel spectrums in the pre-processing uh, within the api wasp does not have much of a filtering or any other normalization only uh, one stage of filtering i believe low uh, low frequency filtering but in the whisper it uses advanced filtering that's why there will be a delay and the voice expected of wasc is like uh, 6 kilo, 16 kilohertz mono and whisper can handle uh, high quality audio because it is not uh, designed for a low power device it's actually designed for a production level uh, server and all so uh, with all these devices we had to decide on which particular one that we have to choose so for voice comments, uh, WOSC will be really good. It can understand keywords. It is low uh, latency. For this kind of purposes, Whisper is an overkill. Uh, it is really slow. It could take some time, especially in a Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have seen that even YOLO is really slow. So that's why I stream the data to PC and get it on top of it. So Whisper will be an overkill there. And there it could be a hybrid approach uh, where the mic could listen to my voice command and if it is a short command was can uh, was can take action but if it is a long speech i can forward the audio to my pc and in that uh, i can try to transcribe and trigger the action based on the whispers output uh, so basically it could be a hybrid approach i will i will try to implement a hybrid approach i don't know how successful that will be because i had to stream the voice over to whisper in my pc uh, so that part is yet to be figured, uh, but that could be the approach I will do. But if that fails, I will mostly go, uh, go ahead with WOSC itself. So the common misconceptions that we have regarding every uh, project is to go for the better model, uh, the bigger model. Uh, but here, since it is a low power device or in the most cases, uh, if it is a really specific case that involves speed or uh, generalization i believe llms are llms or even large models are not the right way to choose we can always go for slower models which could give us uh, almost similar accuracy 
and it, which is much uh, faster. So that is a trade-off that you have to choose. Uh, it only depends on your product and your uh, requirements. Then to get started, if you want to experiment uh, based on this particular experiment or these agents or these tools, you can uh, check it out, these commands and uh, try it in your level, in your own system and device. Uh, it is really simple to get started with. So yeah, in the next video, I'll be trying to build that uh, voice control part of the Raspberry Pi, not the action taking part. I don't have a mic yet. I will try to figure out some more. But yeah, that's all from my end. So if you really like this video, you can uh, like, uh, press that thumbs up button. And if you want to continue or follow up me doing some projects related to AI robotics or even uh, web related ones, you can just subscribe to my channel. That's all. Thank you.